guys real quick before I mishmash this video together um, it's kind of scattered I've had a couple of things going on since Friday which was yesterday and we did some running around today and uh, I just am trying to find the best order to put things in so the beginning would have been yesterday evening but I didn't do my hola guys to you guys and that just feels weird to me so hola guys let's get on with what I've been up to since Friday so we can catch up and visit okay okay this is cool guys it's a bin full of photos different ones I think I think I'm gonna have to go through these and sneak a peek. You never know what you'll find. Sorry about the background noise, guys. I have a fan blowing on me because it's not hot enough for the air, but it's not cool enough not to have some kind of breeze blowing. So that might be what you hear in the back. But I wanted to show you the one thrift purchase that I've made this week. I know, right? It's this little bag of Christmas ornaments from Thrift Mart. Little dude wanted to go to Thrift Mart. And the only reason I purchased this bag is because there are quite a few little Snoopy Christmas ornaments. And I decorate a little Christmas tree for my dining room in Peanuts uh, Christmas decorations. So... This little bag was $2.92, and I'm going to open it and see what else is inside. Okay, guys, I went through the Christmas ornaments, and this is what was in there. Two of the Snoopies on a sleigh, two of the Snoopies on his doghouse, this cute little Snoopy, this sweet little tin, little wooden deer, little resiny plastic angel this manchichi y'all remember manchichi guys uh i don't know if it's supposed to be an ornament or not but i remember manchichi i remember manchichi so much that i still remember the song y'all remember the song let's sing manchichi manchichi oh so soft and cuddly with his thumb in his mouth he's really neat fun to wiggle his little feet yeah 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 Happy, happy Manchichi. Yeah, I remember that stinking song. These two wooden love heart ornaments, which I thought was very fitting, one for each of my boobies. And then this little thingy right here, I thought was cute. And I almost tossed it because there's plenty of tossable stuff in there. But look. It's a little music book. It has 12 Days of Christmas in here. It has Away in a Manger. And I think Eyes on the Sparrow. Yeah, the Eyes on the Sparrow. It's falling apart from the binding. But I just thought that was so sweet. I may use some scotch tape on it. But not too bad for $2.92. Right? Now let's go into the stuff that I'm tossing. So this is the random stuff that I'm not keeping. A little broken carousel. This fuzzy plastic bear. These little styrofoam um, gifts. Guys, look at this. Not one, not two, not three, but four sugar bears. This was a cereal, right? Look at this dude. He looks stone cold stoned. Look at that face. He's drunk. He's high. I don't know what is going on with sugar bear, but there is something definitely wrong with him. And considering he was a mascot or the little dude from a cereal, it kind of makes sense. Munchies and all, I guess. I don't know. But who would want to decorate their tree with some inebriated bear? But anywho, here's another sugar bear um, ornament. And he's still got the same stoned look on his face. A random little wreath that could have been cute if it hadn't been all broken. A little drum. This little plastic dolly thing. This creepy cockeyed angel. That's just spooky. I'm sorry. This old thing. Y'all remember these clips? Y'all clipped them to your pins or your pencils. Uh, this little thingy that could be painted, but ain't nobody got time for that. This plastic little thing. And a random red bracelet. So all this is getting tossed. I Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to toss the sugar bear. Some... 
someone out there might really appreciate these. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the sugar bears. But everything else, oh, this pair, this little uh, covered pair, which was pretty at first, but eh, I don't know. But yeah, all this is going to be tossed. Except Stony Bear over here. Three dollars those pretty little grapes. I oh, got this. What? Those are the big. Those are big. They only cost one dollar. They're two for a dollar. Oh. Look at these tunas. This is beautiful. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, look at that. Bless my boba loving heart. It is hot out here, guys, and look what I came across. That is amazing. How funny! Keys. Oh, that's cool. You don't call 911. In other words, you won't get your head blowed off. I have always wanted one of these. I already know where I'd put it in everything, but they're so expensive. They'll eat you! They'll eat you! Okay guys, quick zoom on the few things that I picked up at the 99 cent only today. Uh, this isn't going to lead into any kind of cooking video because I have no idea what I want to cook lately. But as always, I like to share what you can find at 99 cent only, the bargains in case you're contemplating going, haven't gone, might want to go, or for those of you who just are interested in a person's grocery haul. So, 99 cents for the eggs, which I thought is an awesome price. Uh, pork chorizo, this is the Casica brand, I prefer Garcia. But you get what you have there. Pork boudin. I am going to have this for lunch with some uh, some sautéed uh, peppers. I am just craving this stuff. Um, I got some bologna. Each pack was a dollar, but I would have got a pound for $2 at Walmart. And it's the same thing. Same with the salami. I'm not picky about the salami. I fry both. Uh, so a pound at Walmart is $2, so I just got... 
two packages for a dollar. I'm not picky about hot dogs either. I prefer a bitter one, but a hot dog is a hot dog, so I grab those. I grabbed two more of the Pocus Fill Mango and two more of the Pitaya, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> the uh, Dragon Fruit Drinks. I grabbed two loaves of bread. They were on the clearance shelf for 50 cents each. They're good until October 12th, which is okay. I mean, it's perfectly fine um, because one is going to go in the freezer and the other is going to go in the refrigerator. I prefer them, you know, out on the counter or wherever, like not in the fridge, but it does last longer and just leave it out of room temperature. It gets soft and fuzzy again. Uh, I got an RC just because it was hot. You guys, we were on the heat and this just sounded delicious. We're going to cheat a little bit and do some of that. I got a gallon of 2% um, milk because the whole milk messes with your girl's guts. Okay, TMI, sorry, but uh, I'm lactose intolerant and 2% doesn't hurt me too bad. Got some nanners. Got some more of these uh, funny looking little long fingered grapes. And then I have been wanting to try this, but I didn't want to spend $1.99 and end up hating it. But it was 50% off today, so I went ahead and tried it. So there's just a pan of the few little things that I went ahead and grabbed. I could have just waited until I go grocery shopping tomorrow, but little dude and I want to head out and have some fun and not have to worry about rushing and being at the grocery store. So if I get lazy and don't go to the grocery store tomorrow, this will cover us for a few days until I do. I do have some stuff over on the table that is non-grocery from 99 Cent Only and the Dollar Tree that I'll show you guys in a little bit. Hola. Hi. I don't know how many times I'm going to say hola guys in this video because I'm kind of smoosh all kinds of footage together so I don't want y'all to get tired of hearing it so I'm assuming this piece of the video is gonna be somewhere in the middle but anywho hi wanted to show y'all the non-food things that I picked up at 99 cent only not very exciting but that's this is what we do so I needed some comment because nothing cleans a potty as good as comment my downstairs toilet for some reason and i've been told it's hard water but i don't understand why the one downstairs does it and the one upstairs doesn't and it's the same kind of water but anywho it gets particularly strange looking uh by the end of the week um and i'm cleaning both with the same product so i don't understand why one looks a little worse for wear than the one upstairs because we hardly use the one downstairs maybe that's part of the problem the cats use it as a water fountain if i forget and leave the toilet seat up but for some reason the toilet downstairs again which hardly gets any use some use but not hardly any use it's just acting a little funky so i decided to switch back to my powder comet the old school and give that a try because i've been using liquid something or other the lime away because it's easy and it's liquid and it drips down the bowl and all that but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and go back to my comet because when i was using comet prior to switching okay i wasn't having those problems but anywho so i got that i picked up little dude some moco de gorilla and we've bought the fake like monkey snot and stuff like that but not the real moco de gorilla and if you are latino or no latinos or are married to a latino or shacking up with a latino or have latino babies uh you may be familiar with this it's yeah gorilla snot and it's hair gel they have different kinds and little dude is gonna go get quaffed tomorrow uh he has decided on a hairstyle So we are trying to take advantage of those curls, which I didn't even know he had until I let his hair grow. Prior to that, I kept his hair kind of short, if y'all remember. So I didn't know the boy had curls. I don't know where he got them from. I have waves in my hair, but I don't have curls. But the boy's got curls. But And he likes the curls, so we're going to keep the curls. We're going to work with curls, but we got to trim the curls, and we got to clean up around the ears. So that hairstyle, he seems to be okay with. He really wanted the back to grow, but I'm like... You're going back to school in a few days, and they're going to be real particular about the length in the back of the neck and the hair over the ears. So we're compromising, and that's the one he wants. So I hope with his texture, it works for him. Speaking of school, I went ahead and got more of the little brown paper bags for his lunch because he likes to take lunch because with his food aversion and, and texture issues, 
school lunches sometimes work, sometimes don't, and it's too long a day for my baby not to eat. Now this was a per completely whim by. It's purple, it's sparkly, it's shiny, it's a sipper cup. And I had to have it. Do I need it? No, I have all my ones I use over there on the dish rack all the time. But it was cute and it was different and it was shiny. And it was $1.99, so I grabbed that. I grabbed a case of water, which I've already opened and set in the refrigerator, well, half in the refrigerator. And I got this bed of paper towels. Yes, I got some paper towels because I was down to the very, very, very last one or two little sheets of the ones I have. and. My lazy butt might not go to Walmart tomorrow. I don't know. I have plenty of groceries already in there from last week. And then I picked up a few little things like you just saw. So I don't know. I just want to have fun with the kid. You know, I want to have fun with the kid. We've started going out to more public places. We were keeping it to thrift stores and Walmart. Uh, but we've started going out to more public places like Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, today, we went to uh, Trader's Village. That's a giant flea market. Swap me. What is going on with my nose? It looks particularly bulbous. The ball on the tip of my nose looks kind of puffy. And I am... Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have squeezed my nose. I am going through some allergy something. Right before I put the turn the camera on, I dang near blew my head off. I was sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. And the kitty, kitty princess, my little black beauty, she's got some allergy things going on. Uh, hi, the only good one is Ozzy here. A uh, little dude's good too so far, which surprises me because he has bad allergies. But anywho, how did I get on the nose? I don't remember. Oh, uh, I'm trying. Oh, um, we're heading out more in public. Uh, and if I get a bad vibe or I don't like what's going on, uh, then I won't stay long. We'll check it out and go. Tomorrow we're going to try out the trampoline park. I don't know how he's going to jump with a mask on without hyperventilating and passing out. Um, today at the swap meet, um, at the flea market, they have what's called a rumpus room. And it's this huge giant open area where they have all kinds of inflatable uh, bounce houses. And they have this giant climbing cage thing where they swing on swings and maneuver, you know, like little hamsters. And he loves that, but that was closed due to, uh, social distancing but he still had fun he rode some rides and ate a lot of food and we had a good afternoon and I want to kind of carry that over into tomorrow um because I just want to have I want to get a little bit of normalcy if this is the new norm with the masks and all that as long as like I said we go places that we feel safe at hey I'm ready for it you know uh but I say all that to say I don't want to go to Walmart tomorrow. I just want to have fun. But anywho, so that's everything I picked up at the 99 cent only. Let me show you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. We stopped off at the Dollar Tree. Um, I was looking. I can't even remember what I was looking. Oh, I needed a charger. I needed a charger just to keep uh, in the car because this happened. Yep. I got her, I decided on which one I wanted. I went ahead and got the Camry and uh, all is going well. I'm still learning the car, uh, way fancier and modern than I'm used to. So I'm not sure what all the little buttons and gadgets are for, but I'll give you guys a good look inside tomorrow. It got dark on us, so I'll give you guys a good look inside the car tomorrow so y'all can see the inside. But anywho, um, I wanted to have just an extra little charger in the car. I was looking for a color coordinating one, but I figured purple and gray go really nice together. Yeah, I'm buying accessories for the car. I'm not even kidding y'all. We have to have coordinating cups with straws because I ain't allowing nothing but water in that car right now. We had to get a coordinating blanket because little dude has a blanket in the morning. He's a little chilly in the morning and now that... We have super, super cold air in that car. Um, he likes the bundle up, but we couldn't just have any blanket. We had to buy one that coordinated. <laughs> I know, I'm being extra. Let me be extra. I haven't had a new car or a newish car in quite many years. But anywho, we went to Dollar Tree for that. Um, I found, and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna, cause it's not even Halloween yet. But look at these adorable little, Little nose, adorable little um ornaments. I had a whole bunch of them, guys. 
But I was like, girl, stop. You barely had enough room on the tree for all the country ornaments you had last year. But I can't resist them. They were so pretty. I had a whole bunch of them. I only picked up. I only bought home four. This little cardboard uh, dilly whopper, little dang dingle ball. They had a long one. They had the traditional circle one. And me and little dude like this shape. And it's just corrugated cardboard with a little paint and hot glue. So stinking cute. I loved this one. And I think I have stuff similar too, but I don't remember having a Christmas tree shape. So I got that. And then I've last year I bought so many owls because they were just too cute to pass up. And I don't think I have this one. I hope not. But he joined our little country collection. So I got that. I did go ahead and get little dude. He picked out this uh, candy bag. It's going to be my first year without him for Halloween. And if y'all know me at all, y'all know we do Halloween big up in this piece. Uh, but it's his first year having Halloween with his dad and his little brother and his stepmom. And they are all super excited. They're going to have a party for them. And they're going to try and scout out places where they can go trick-or-treating. So he, he kind of feels some way about it. Because uh, he's used to our thing and we're not going to have a party this year. Not a party party. I am going to try and have some kind of get together for him and his best friend this upcoming weekend. Not this weekend. The next weekend. Um, just a little something. Uh, but it's not going to be our big shindig. And he feels a little something, something about that. But I'm like, you know what? No, there's nothing wrong with people wanting to share you and love on you and have holidays with you. So it's a good thing. So he's made his peace. I went ahead and picked up these little uh, goodie bags. It's only going to be two kids, maybe three. It's going to be very, very small, very, very impromptu. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to really plan anything major. But i got to have candy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to fill up bags with candy and hide them like Easter eggs, and then they can go and find them. And then I kind of went a little gaga. And I haven't gone this gaga on makeup in a while. But let me tell you something. Something about having a new car makes a girl want to put on eyelashes, makes a girl want to put on lipstick, makes a girl want to paint her nails. I may paint my nails because uh, pretty hands need to be handling the steering wheel of that pretty car. I'm being so girly all of a sudden. But anywho, I think that's what it is because I found and could not resist flower products. Now these are cream eyeshadows. I don't mess around with cream eyeshadows because I have combination skin. And when you have combination skin, if you have any kind of oil on your face, you end up looking like an oil slick. But these were so stinking pretty. It's this pretty, look at that. Look at that gorgeous rust. And this is a little darker. Look at these, gorgeous. And it's Flower Brand. That's, uh, what's your name from ET? Uh, the girl from ET, she has her own talk show now. The little girl from ET. I forget her name. If I remember, I'll stick it in here somewhere. Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore. This is Drew Barrymore's line of makeup and I've bought uh, lipsticks and body sprays. Oh, her body sprays, oh my gosh, are amazing. And I've bought lipsticks at Walmart before, uh, but I'd never tried these. So I'm gonna go ahead and try those. And for a dollar, flower's not very cheap. Um, this is a cream blush, but I thought the color might brighten me up a little bit. I don't really do cream, like I said, but her formula is really nice in the lipsticks. So I'm thinking maybe this will work. Speaking of lipsticks, they had some. They had um, this one in Rosy Garden. And if time permits, I will open. And this one in Petal Kiss. So there you go. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I purchased was this e.l.f. powder brush i already have one but i love it i redid my room and took out some stuff went through all my makeup again went through all my makeup brushes and my little powder brush um it got kind of dented because i have them in this um little medical jar that you put the little tongue suppressors in depressors suppressors depressor the stick for your tongue uh, and the lid kind of mushed it a little i can wash it and maybe reshape it but it was just in my mind that mine was crooked so really it was there so i went ahead and got it and these are like three to six dollars depending on where you get it the black one so a buck okay i got some fabric refreshing because after i de here the sofas i spritz and i was out to my last sad little spritz um and then this movie called severance another bloody office outing you'll never know when you're going to get axed the office meets the hills have eyes it's good gory fun that sounds right up my gross hysterical alley but 
Uh, that's everything for this end. Uh, let me, I know little dude wants to show you something he picked up at the flea market, so hang on. Okay, so he wants to be one of the crazy guys on the first Purge movie, right? Um, we found, found the mask at where? Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween. And it's just simple jeans, t-shirt, and a hoodie, and the psycho has a weapon. What does the psycho have? Machine gun. Do it. <laughs> we got that at the swap meet. Every stall at Trader's Village sells these, but it's the perfect size to go for the look he's going for. So I know some of y'all might disagree, but he knows it's just a toy. And uh, he wanted to show you guys that. So until my next go around, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow because I know we're going to be out and about. And I miss y'all. There's a lot to catch up on, and I'll do that tomorrow, including what's happening at work. Uh, again, I'll show you guys the interior of the car. I might get footage of us somewhere. I don't know. It's supposed to be really hot again tomorrow. Today, it took us forever to cool down. Even though the house was cool when we came in, I think we had the sun in us. It reached a little over 90 today. It's friggin' October and it was 90 degrees. So we were really, really hot and tomorrow's supposed to be hotter. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to get ourselves into. But until my next round, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all are having an awesome weekend my nose is huge what is going on anywho has it always been this big guys i know i had a ball but geez anywho till my next go around thank you guys for watching i will see you guys again tomorrow and stay safe and happy and loved because i love y'all bunches